Now let's take a look at my straight razor collection and look at the various manufacturers, the different types of handle materials, the different types of razors that were made, and that will give us an idea of exactly how to utilize the information that we just discussed. We can also take this opportunity to discuss the pros and cons of buying on eBay from antique stores or any other source that you may end up purchasing a straight razor from. Let's go. Let's now talk about purchasing straight razors. Straight razors are available new and actually still are being made in both Germany and France today. You can purchase razors direct from many dot-com sites and we'll give you a reference at the end of this video. You can also purchase them directly from antique stores, estate sales, and on eBay. There is a huge population today that utilizes eBay to procure razors not only for their shaving but for their collections. What do you look for when you're looking to purchase your first straight razor? Some people determine whether or not they want an exotic substance, they want a wood, they'd like a different color for the handle that's involved, and these are all various aspects for which you'll see many, many variations in all of the sources that I previously mentioned. There are also various shapes, as we described initially in the blade, of the sizes of blades, both in width and on the ends of the blades. So your job then becomes to try to make up your mind as best you can for what to look for. This particular razor is in a plastic handle and it has a 6 8 blade that is rounded on the tip. This particular razor only has a 4 8 inch blade and it has a black plastic handle. This 4 8 width razor will shave every bit as good as a 6 8 or a 7 8. One of the things that I can assure you in the world of straight razors is that there is a different razor or many different razors for everybody's preference. No one razor will be perfect for you. You may prefer the smaller width blades or you may prefer the larger width blades, but in any case it won't be until after you've utilized one or two till you really establish that preference. When I say new, I mean brand new. And in the case of most of the dot-com sites who sell new razors, you're going to get a new razor. When I look on an eBay or from an estate sale or even from an antique store, if they say new or mint, new old stock or mint, I look for new. This is an example of what I would look for in new. This is a beautiful World Master razor and it was advertised actually still in the packing material that it came from. As you can see, the razor still has the label on it and was in the plastic packing. If you look at this blade, which is also a 6 8 you will see that it is absolutely perfect, as are the Pearlex handles, and note the fancy bolster work on that particular straight razor. I wanted to show you a few razors that are examples of not mint razors that are offered on eBay, but of some of the very nice razors that you can pick up on eBay so long as you're careful and so long as you know what to look for. This razor is a beautiful Frederick Herder Solenchen straight razor. It has a transparent handle. I suspect that this razor had been rehandled at some point, but as you can tell from the blade, it really is in excellent shape. It would not take much restoration at all to get this into near mint condition. There are no chips or cracking in the blade and the blade should turn out to be an excellent shaver. This next razor is a J.A. Hankels, also in a 6 8 in a plastic handle, but this is the original J.A. Hankels logo that's on this particular handle. It's a beautiful 6 8 inch blade and like the one previously this one will take very very little work other than some buffing in order to make it into near mint condition. With the hankles in most cases you can tell whether a razor has been rehandled or not by their insignia on the handle. 
If you see a straight white, straight black handle, or a fancy patterned handle without the Hankos logo imprinted or, or embossed somewhere on it, typically that's a razor that has been rehandled, and uh, you should approach that from a pricing standpoint uh, based on your desire to shave with a J.A. Hankels blade. J.A. Hankels typically make superior shavers. They just uh, are wonderful razors, and I can't compliment them enough.